Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Scandinavia. In the last episode, I decided that it was time to begin knocking Sweden down a bit. And so we went ahead and declared war on Sweden to grab a bit of our de jour territory from them. Uh, it turned out to end up being a much more involved war than I had anticipated. But we were able to get it done. Uh, we took, I think it was this little bit of territory right here. And yeah, that, uh, or was it this? It was something. No, no, it was this. And yeah, we're going to start working on wearing these guys down. And eventually absorbing their entire kingdom, because I want to make the Empire of Scandinavia. And I need that holy site so I can reform the, uh, the Astaru faith. I'm not sure how to actually pronounce that word, but close enough. Alright, so the other thing that happened is our ruler died in the middle of the war. That's always annoying. But it's fine. Um, we're now playing as the 19-year-old King Honker Horolderson of Norway. And it is actually back to being called Norway again. So that's interesting. We are an intrigue-focused character, so we're going to be using scheming uh, to try to gain advantage. And I'm already trying to kill uh, one of my vassals because they're, he's too powerful. So we're going to kill him and break up his realm between his sons. So we'll see how that goes. Now, how do my vassals feel about me? Eh, not great. Eh, some are right. Propose alliance. What's this? Sheik. No. No, I am not going to ally down there. Like, look at all this stuff that Sweden holds. It's ridiculous. Well, all I'll have to do is just wear them down, usurp the kingdom, and tear them apart. Alright, my agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to High Chieftain Sunni alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. 95%, 95%. Bon Appetit. And that bird became the last thing he ever ate. It also seems that none of my agents are under suspicion, which means that no one can trace the poison back to me. Excellent. And that broke my vassal up. So that works out for me. All right. I can create the Duchy of Upland. Yeah, so I'll create the title. Now, who should get it? Or maybe I should just hold it. Or maybe... I can revoke a title. No, 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 no. I gotta have to retract a vassal.
This is an act of tyranny. All subjects lose five opinion. You'll lose 40 pity to me, which I just don't care. And this guy becomes my vassal. Sure. I mean, I don't know how that's going to be an act of tyranny because it is my de jour vassal. Because I hold the duchy. I guess. Oh, well, I can take a negative five opinion hit. Oh, my concubine is pregnant. Good. Okay, so... This guy is now mine. Now, can I revoke your title? Or is there another vassal I need to retract? There we go. Alright, so now I have all the people who are supposed to be part of that, that duchy. Now I can hold two, but I don't actually want to hold two because of the partition arrangement. So let's see, what's your opinion of me? You don't like me. You don't like me, you like me. Well, then I'll grant you the title of that. There we go. Somebody is chasing somebody else through my realm. Enjoy. All right, so now we have a truce with Sweden. Well, actually, what we have a truce is with the king of Sweden. She's pregnant. I can murder the king of Sweden. No problem. I already have eight agents that have joined that plot. Well, eh, that works. Now, a few things that I can do here. Um, I could use a hunt. Call a hunt. I'll lose 30 stress. We may get opportunities to increase our prestige. That's something I want. Hunt, rampaging boar. Just as my vassal, High Chiefess Mari Maria, and I crest a ridge, uh, a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright. They are heralds announcing its arrival. A massive boar heading straight for us. Its path ends here with me. I gain 50% chance I gain a hunting trophy for 10 years. 27% chance I am injured. 22% chance I die. Who's my heir? My heir is my two-year-old son. What does succession look like right now? My son is my nominee. My son will be my heir. It wouldn't be great, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I took over as my two-year-old son. Um, no special traits. We don't even know what his childhood trait is going to be yet. Did 
That's all right. All right, let's do it. This path ends here with me. I was wounded. Okay, well, that's not the worst thing that could have happened. All right, the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses and leave the plains behind as the servants prepare to the board and other game for the journey back. Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so, but there were several linings to be found. We gained some prestige. The hunt ends. You have arrived in my court as a guest. You are a decent fighter. I'm going to recruit you to court. I offer Aloito my sincere thanks as he stares angrily at me through a haze of alchemy. It was not easy to find someone to volunteer to test my collection of substances. For him, it has been an evening of pain, burning sensations, and occasional unconsciousness. Interesting. This has been most insightful. I have no idea. My champion. I gain 50 lifestyle experience. I gain experimental poisons for 10 years. Scheme power plus one, hostile scheme power plus five. And he doesn't like me. We are not quite done yet. I gain 100 lifestyle experience. I gain risky experimental poisons, which gives me an actual intrigue boost. And 15% um, 15 chance that he dies. Okay, well, we're not done quite yet. Alright, I've had a son with my concubine, Heralder. Anything interesting? Oh, you're scaly. Okay. Still have few champions. Not endorsed. I think I'm working on that. My queen is pregnant again. Smallpox. The curse of death has fallen upon my court. A case of smallpox has been discovered. My poor mother Kai is fighting for life. Man, she has had a rough go of it. The taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all. While she remains afflicted, the life at court is safe. Send for a phys physician. I apparently don't have a court physician. I don't have a court physician. All right, you have a very high learning stat. Astute intellectual. Giuseppe claims to be trained in alternative medicine. A mystic. Drunkard. Blind. Disfigured. Um, I think I'll go with her. You're also hail. But man, you have zero marshal and zero stewardship. Yet another soul's been cursed with smallpox. My poor son, Heralder, the newborn, is fighting for his life. Um, drastic measures. Greatly reduced disease symptoms for a year. There is no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir. Half the time he's trying to tell me what to do, instead of the other way around. He gains the trait bossy. What does that give, by the way? Marshal and stewardship. For days, I have been obsessing over the Umayyad lineage. Really? And I am certain there's no way Sultan Ali can, can conclusively prove the fatherhood of his son and heir, Arif. 
Where there's a lack of evidence, evidence can be planted. It's time for me to write new truth. Let's see. All this dynastic history might be good for something else. I gained 75 renown. I'll take the renown. I'll take the renown. I'm a sinner, apparently. The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles to King Valtteri's bedchamber. Everything is in place. Do it. The plan worked. The King of Sweden is finally dead. Thankfully, my involvement in the crime remains unknown. I do love surprise visits. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go on a pilgrimage. I need to kind of improve my piety. I'll take the site at Sigtuna. You are fighting a whole bunch of wars. Buponic Plague. Hell has raised her scythe over my realm. A case of the dreaded Bubonic Plague has been discovered. The unfortunate victim is my niece, Holmfred. The taint possessing your flesh is a danger to us all. If every week that passes, my fellowship grows even smaller. Some have gone as far as they can before the need to return home overtakes them. Others have met with less fortunate ends. Most worrying is the fact that my group of personal guards is thinning out at an alarming rate. The fact alone shows what a treacherous journey this can be. I pay some cash and I get foreign guards. Foreign guards gives me prowess and levy size. Divine protection gives me diplomacy per level of devotion. Monthly piety. No, we'll take some of the locals as guards. I have the cash. Alright, we have a daughter. Cecilia. Alright, I'm finally here. Body and soul. The great temple of Sigtuna. Alright, I get 375 prestige. I gain the trade pilgrim. And I get some good stuff there. The outbreak of smallpox which has ravaged my court is finally over. We have lost my mother Kai, so she did die. One victim died and two survived. Wow, oh, you... You had smallpox and the plague. Survived one though. My niece died of the plague. Alright, we're back home. Let's see, do I want to dismiss? Yeah, I think I want to dismiss. I'm going to dismiss you as a concubine. And then I'm going to take my court physician as a concubine. Because she has a good congenital trait. What is going on here? All right, a couple of my vassals are fighting each other. Okay, high chieftain. 
of the Macaron Isles. For the Earldom of Galve there. I don't even want that. I literally don't want it. So, you know what? I'm just going to surrender. You can have it. You want an alliance. You're not at war, but being in an, uh, in an alliance with me might embolden him to declare some wars. I'm going to decline. All right, so my concubine is no longer pregnant. I guess they had a miscarriage. That's unfortunate. All right, so you are now involved in multiple wars. Five to be exact. Your army is a fraction of what it once was. We no longer have a truce. I can declare war on you. I could invade. No, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Prestige. Fame level is less than. Subjugate him? I take him as his primary title and make him my vassal. Wow. But see, then I would have to fight all the enemies that he's fighting. I don't want to just conquer a county. Level of fame. I need to be illustrious. Okay. Let's host a feast. All right, the guests are gathered in a great hall. Lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, the spirits are high as the feast begins. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It has all gone bad. Oh no. The feast is still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. The wine merchants are still being tra in town. I do not want to spend prestige. I can spend cash. Do not want to spend prestige. I need to go on a raiding expedition here soon. I did everything I could, ensuring that Saga and Skuld would be as far from each other as possible. My sister and my half-sister, they apparently don't like each other. It was not enough, and now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for order to intervene. I can afford to take an opinion hit on Skald. We'll throw her out to cool off. Everyone headed for their respective homes. I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife, Elizabeth, to thank for much of its success. And I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last of my few guests off. I gain some more prestige. Excellent. And yes, I need to go on a raiding expedition 
Digging for dirt, find secrets progress speed, plus 25%. All right, I don't necessarily want to raise the whole army. Raise a local army. How many... How many can we get? Almost 6,000 men in the local army. All right, flip them over to raiding, and let's go see what we can do. Look at Alba. I do hold more territory over here that I don't care about, that I acquired through no efforts of my own, and I'm not going to fight a war to keep them. Ooh. Grab everything here. There's only four loot. Three hundred and seven. Let's see what we can grab. 71. Thirty-seven. Five. That's not so good. An overheard whisper and a sharp glare are the final pieces that make the puzzle fall into place. My spy master is more well versed in the art of intrigue than he would have everyone believe. To know there is a man like that at court makes me rather nervous. However, I might learn a lot if I can get him to trust me. I'll convince him that we are cut from the same cloth. Let's give it a try. My wound is healed. Excellent. Takes many days, but at long last, I coincidentally stumble upon the Rugenwalder, well, he is alone. Lord Rugenwalder, I've been meaning to... If you walked into a room to find your spouse yelling at a young page for dropping a plate, what would you do? Is he testing me? Maybe this is my opportunity to convince him that we have a lot in common. Ambitious, lazy, wrathful... They yeah, both had to tell me what happened. I'm sure they could handle it better without me. I would join in on the yelling. Well, you're wrathful, so I'll go with that. Hmm, he pauses, thoughtful before continuing. In the middle of a march to battle, just as you are setting up camp, an officer approaches you to ask what should be done with the spy that has been caught. A spy, no matter, we march on. I would talk to the spy and see what they have to say. I would talk to the spy and see what they have to say. He nods to himself before painting the next scenario. You make a decision. Say that all taxes in a county will be raised. And it comes to your attention that one of your vassals openly questions that decision. How do you react? Uh, we have all of our differences. It wouldn't bother me. His face is lit up by a surprisingly warm smile. You seem to be a man of sound judgment. He stretches before moving down the corridor and on silent feet. Please join me. We have much to discuss. I gain a lifestyle, intrigue lifestyle perk. And he becomes my mentor. Excellent. Though I'm a better... 
I have more intrigue than he does. But he has a better um, education than I do. Alright, what do I get? Kidnapper. Yes. Please. Alright, as long as they're not coming after me, I'm going to keep on grabbing everything that isn't nailed down. All the way down the, the, the southern English coast. Oh, what's this? Ransom? Wants to pay me a hundred. I'll take it. We do need to start heading out of here because we're out of supplies. Okay, good enough. Let's go home. And get to the point where we can't actually hold as much loot as we have. There we go. Disband the army. I am not illustrious yet. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, you're positive now. Am I still not endorsed? No, I'm still not endorsed. Sway you. You are not doing so well. There's nothing left for me to teach you. My mentor, Roggenwolder, smiles leisurely and nods. You have learned a lot, but to go even further in your studies, you need to make your own way. Stop being mentor, becomes friend. Excellence. Can I demand your conversion? Yes. Good. That is a very good champion. And here's another one that's not as good, but at least it fills out our champion numbers. Alright, I already got a new perk. Disrupt Scheme's Effectiveness, Murder Scheme Power plus 30%. Let's take that one. Alright, so... What we might do is go ahead and end the episode here. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. And I need to try and get that fame up. Yeah, so we can start uh, not, you know, taking entire duchies. Or if I can get 4,000 prestige, then I can just invade his entire kingdom. So, 
We'll have to see. Alright, but for now, we'll stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.